The murder of a woman known as the Princess of Aspen rocked the Colorado resort, resort town. To some, the potential suspect seemed as surprising as a crime. 48 Hours correspondent Maureen Maher investigates three people at the center of the case. Here's a preview of tomorrow night's report. It was a late winter's night in Aspen, Colorado. Then all of a sudden, the quiet was shattered by sirens and lights, and, and everybody wondered, what the hell's going on? No one could believe it. Nancy Pfister, a member of Aspen royalty who dated the likes of Jack Nicholson and Michael Douglas, was dead, bludgeoned with a hammer in her own home while she slept. Everybody wanted to know why. Everybody wanted to know how. And everybody wanted to know who. It all began when Trey and Nancy Styler, a retired doctor and his wife, agreed to rent Fister's house while she went to Australia. It seemed a perfect match. She said, it's karma, darling. And I thought, okay, this is it. But the relationship quickly turned nasty. She was on Facebook saying awful things about us. You're liars, you're cheats, you owe me money for this, you owe me money for that. It got so ugly, Fister came back to Aspen early and told her friend and unofficial personal assistant, Kathy Carpenter, to throw the stylers out. Make sure that those efforts are out of my house. But three days after Nancy Fister returned, no one had heard from her. Kathy Carpenter went to check on her. 911, my friend is in your closet, yes. Carpenter immediately brought up the trouble between the Stylers and Fister. She had some people living there. She really pissed them off. The Stylers were brought in for questioning. Then a major break. The murder weapon was found near the Stylers Motel. A few days later, they were arrested for murder. I kept thinking that I would wake up from this horrible dream, being treated like a criminal. But investigators wondered, was that big break in the case too good to be true? Were the Stylers being framed? Kathy Carpenter was a little bit too quick to point the finger at suspects after discovering the body. Kathy Carpenter became the third person arrested. But the intrigue in this story was only just beginning. There was anticipation of the trial when everything would come out. People were eager to hear exactly what happened, why. And then all of a sudden, another bombshell. And I was blown away. I was blown away. I love a good bombshell, Maureen Mar. What was it? So the bombshell is they are adamant that all three are involved, but one confesses to go free. Wow. Do they believe the confession? No. The prosecutors say we have to stand with what the confession says, but there isn't an, an attorney, an investigator, a family, or a friend who believes they know the truth about what happened when she was killed. She Why was did so the polarizing, person confess? Nancy. Yeah. Was so uh, that's a good question. Why did the person confess yes. to bring an end to it, and why was Nancy so polarizing? Yeah. People, including a good friend of mine who happens to know her, says you loved her and you hated her. And there usually was at least at one point during the year or within a couple of years, you wouldn't talk to her. Whoa. All right. Mm. Saturday night, Maureen Maher. You can watch her full report. It's called Murder in Aspen. The titles and the characters you get always amaze me at 48 Hours. Tomorrow night on 48 Hours, that's 10 o'clock, 9 Central, right here on CBS.